There's a difference between the situation and the story. The situation is the biography. The situation is your circumstances and your psychological connection to what's happening to you. The story goes deeper. The story is what it has meant to you, how it has awakened you, how you've been guided by the uh, experiences in your life to a deeper awareness. And what I teach uh, my students is that underneath this situation there's a very profound story and if you go deeply enough into your personal story it becomes a universal experience. Uh, that's something that a lot of memoir writers don't understand. They're afraid of being self-absorbed or narcissistic um, uh, and navel gazers. But the truth is that if you go profoundly enough and truthfully enough into your deep experience, it does become the human experience. It's not about you anymore. It is, but it's not. Uh, and that's the thing about non-duality is that it is imminent and immediate and physical and relative, and it's also absolute and transcendent and universal. So if you are particular enough about your, the details of your, of your life and your deep experience, it does become a, the story. It does become the big story. And then people who have nothing to do with your way of life or you biographically can relate to your, can relate to your work. And that's what's fascinating. When I wrote my first memoir, I couldn't believe this was a very particular story about a particular kind of person and, and life and experience. But people across the board from completely different, um, you know, completely different backgrounds, completely different interests resonated with it because I was writing about life and death and fear and abandonment and love and sexuality and all the things that we all struggle with. So if you're truthful enough about your deep experience, it does become uh, transcendent. And that's, that's what I do in my work and it's what I, I do with my students.